Okay, what uh, we're going to be doing in this video is uh, take care of this case that we have shown the metal conditioning and, uh, and get it opaque. So first thing I do is I take a look at my prescription and uh, first thing I can see here is that the color is going to be a B3. Um, I can see that the surface of the tooth when I'll be doing my uh, my ceramic and my grinding will have to be a medium uh, medium coarse and uh, at the end when I'll be glazing it doesn't have to be too uh, too shiny but it has to be a little bit opaque so uh, I have here uh, some information that uh, that gives me an idea of how my ceramic final look has to be uh, from the surface from the from the glaze and uh, and the color so uh, you see this color starts uh, to be a B3 all the way through the third incisal all the way to uh, the gingiva area so uh, it's a plain color it's simple nothing really hard to do and uh, we proceed taking our our tray you can see that this tray is uh, I think they call it it's uh, a nido d'ape in Italian that means uh, um, you see with th these holes they use this for uh, a matter of cooling and uh, what I do now is uh, here is my opaque tray uh, what I do use for this kind of uh, request of a ceramic is I do use a system uh, called Ceramco 2 but I do use some special opaques we and they are paste opaques um, in the past we used to use powders and uh, now the job is simpler and it seems that we do have a, a better choice and an easier way to apply opaques so uh, uh, the first uh, the first part of this opaquing will be uh, uh, putting a mask and uh, you see it's kinda simple actually uh, but we want to be not letting the opaque uh, jump everywhere it has to be even the amount that I will uh, laying on the surface of the metal has to come out to be an even and uh, things have changed in time with opaques because uh, uh, from the fact that we were using these uh, powder opaques we passed to a more sophisticated way of working with opaques you see uh, this masking with a with a paste opaque uh, let me see if I can I can get my phone all right that's much better uh, here we are you got your hands free you can work much better you see in the inside there's a little bit that has a uh, smurd in there so I'll take another brush and clean it out uh, I won't be able to totally clean this out so I will be sandblasting it once it's baked and this is it what I will be doing now is uh, on the opaque I will be on this B3 I will be putting some crystals this is the product from Ceramco and you will see uh, this kind of breaks the light see here I have uh, in my drawer and what I do all I do is this now I hold this phone somehow
okay on the surface now I have uh, I have passed this um, ceramic powder which kind of gives a coarser surface to my uh, uh, coping and this is the first uh, the first layer of opaque which will be baked now and we'll take it from here now we put it on our tray again and it will be baked it has a the oven is preset has different programs now uh, what I will do I will open my door of my oven now the platform will be coming down take it uh oh you see uh, sometimes things get a little bit unstable here so you can see everything doesn't always work smoothly okay let's see if we can get this now on here without doing any damage because once the opaque is not dry uh, it's kind of nasty if it goes down on it because uh, it loses the kind of surface we have applied to it. Hands free to get this done so now I have my coping on my platform I can uh, move it on my uh, on my tray I can move it on the ovens platform here and get this going on press my start my program is set now uh, there are different levels to dry out uh, the opaque this will be drying out slowly and then once it will uh, close in the chamber the platform we will be having uh, the baking process start so this is the first uh, baking of opaque on the coping okay so uh, now the coping, the opaque coping, is uh, came down from the oven. Uh, let me see if I can take a lens to show you better what this is all about. And uh, I easily take my tray off the platform. Okay, this is uh, now how the first opaque uh, looks like after first bake. I close the platform of my oven. And as I was saying, this is how it looks uh, after first opaque. Uh, still a little bit of gray of the metal is showing, but it will be completely masked once we will uh, let me see if we can get this further better yeah uh, once we give the second hand which will be the color the B3 it will be totally masked so uh, that's it with our first bake our masking opaque and uh, soon we will see in the second video uh, the second hand opaque